Hey, just had a wicked question from Adam about the effects of yo-yo dieting um, on your body in terms of nutrition and fitness. So let's talk about that. In terms of your metabolism, right, uh, when you drop civilian calories, okay, there's a thing called adaptive thermogenesis. That basically means that your metabolism starts to adapt to the stimulus or the response of your diet, okay? So if your diet is going down to 800 or 900 calories, etc., your metabolism will slow down to cater for that, right? To cater towards that stress. It starts to slow down, right? Because it wants to be equal, equilibrium, homeostasis. So over a period of time, when you start to do your dieting, your metabolism crashes, etc., right? But it does adapt, right? Um, it adapts, it starts to slow down. Therefore, it means like you expend this energy fidgeting, you expend this energy when you're walking, you probably walk a little bit slower, you feel a little bit more lethargic. And another reason why that is because your thyroid function starts to come down as well, all right? Thyroid function comes down, testosterone function comes down, estrogen levels rise, all right? Um, and that's not a ratio that we really, really want. Um, the other thing as well, in terms of like weight loss, You'll find that like, hey, like when you go to like 809 calories, weight does come off, but it's not it's not necessarily like body fat, it's weight, all right? And the reason why, because we have like, like when we typically eat carbohydrates, we store glycogen, all right? It's like a stored fuel. Um, for every kind of like gram of glycogen we have, we store fluids, okay? It's just kind of how it is. When you don't have your carbo in, carbohydrate intake, all right? There's no need for that water to be there. So it flushes. So a lot of the stuff you find is like, you start to lose a lot of water weight, water retention, not necessarily like body fat in that yo-yo kind of diet, in that kind of, that really like limited low calorie diet. Uh, the, other, the other effect is that the ratio of like fat to protein that you, that, that you lose changes as well. So if you're in a very small deficit, like five, 10%, all right, and you're losing weight slowly, you'll generally find you have a larger larger response, okay, um, a larger uh, decrease in body fat compared to if you're on like a really restrictive low calorie. A lot of that kind of weight um, comes from protein, all right? So it comes from the hair, skin, nails, etc. That's why they probably start to flake. That's why your hair breaks. That's why it probably, etc. becomes frail um, or fragile. Um, and obviously, that's not good. It also means it's a lot harder to preserve muscle as well, all right? So when you're doing strength training, you're gonna find it very hard to kind of maintain and preserve the muscle you have. You're actually probably gonna lose some, all right? Um, but when you're in like a, a smaller deficit, it's a lot easier to maintain that muscle mass, all right, and lose body fat, all right? Uh, the, the other issue is well, when you start the yo-yo dieting, like there's a lot of habits that are unfamiliar. It's not enjoyable, behavior starts to change. Um, you start to get irritable, all right? And that's just a little bit of hormone responses, etc. stuff that happen you don't really need to worry about. But um. But that's the issue that happens when you diet, you get into that kind of vicious cycle, right? Um, and it's very hard to get out of. Do I always, always, always suggest having a smaller, more reserved deficit? Yes, it may take you more period of time, but it's gonna be enjoyable, yeah? Yeah, still be able to do the exercise and activity that you wanna do. Um, you'll still be able to create habits and sustain them for longer. Um, and also the calorie consumer will be a lot more for you to make it a lot more enjoyable for yourself and actually feel that you're actually eating rather than being on like a, a crazy two sheets a day kind of diet, all right? Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Um, that's the effects of yo-yo dieting and probably why you shouldn't do it. Also, like over a period of time, when you start to yo-yo diet again, like I said before, in terms of adaptive thermogenesis, your body starts to respond like, expend this energy, like I said. Say if you were like maintaining calories or maintaining weight at 1500, you drop to 800, your metabolism will start to slow down, say it gets down to like 1200 or 1300 calories to maintain your total daily energy expenditure. All right, and then you bump it back up to 1,500 calories, now you're in a surplus, you're gonna be gaining weight, all right, because you're in that surplus, you're actually now bringing in more calories than you're burning. Then you think, shit, I'm now back up to normal eating, I was saving weight, or I was remaining in the same weight at this time, but now I'm increasing weight, why is that? It's just because your body starts to adapt from the response, from the stress from before. So then you start going down even lower again, you go down to 800 or 700 calories. And your metabolism starts to adapt again, it goes from like, say, 1,300 down to 1,250, 1,200, etc. cetera just your metabolism starts to slow. Like I said, you start to spend less energy. Over a period of time, do it seven or eight times, you realize your, your metabolism is actually really, really slow. When you go up to 1,500, 600 calories again, you're gonna realize actually you start to be putting on weight um, and you're gonna very find it very, very difficult to get out of that. An easy reverse is when you are, at, let's say you are at 800, 900 calories, is by adding 50 calories or 10% of your total intake a day, a week. So say for instance, on average, on a really crazy diet, you're having 900 calories. For the week, for one week, add 990 calories. 
Oh, or have, sorry. No, no, 90 calories. That's 90 calories more. Add that purely from carbs. Keep going, keep going, keep going until you're up to like 1,300, 1,400, 1,500 calories. Okay? And then when you... We are, I guess you don't have to worry too much about carbohydrate fat intake, but just increase that calories over the time. Every single week, just increase your calorie intake by 10% per day. All right? Um, and you'll realize that actually the, the weight gain after won't be so severe. Okay? You may like gain half a pound a pound, etc., but it's not going to be as severe as that three, four, five, six, seven pounds that you've been put on recently. All right, I hope that makes sense. Um, I know I obviously spoke quite fast there. Uh, any questions, drop them below. Like, share it, comment if you maybe um, hope it makes sense. Bye.